Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to another Destiny 2 news video. This week is chock full of it. Lots of stuff to talk about. We got news on trials. We got news about cheaters in trials. We're going to be talking about that, which is all from the TWAB. Uh, also, a little bit of a state of the game and what is expected to come in the next coming weeks in the TWAB and how they're going to be addressing a lot of our concerns. We're going to be looking at all of that stuff. Plus, of course, we have Guardian games going on right now. We've got new ways to earn some Pinnacle gear and, of course, some changes to the Seraph uh, Tower public event that you're watching in background right now. So along with the changes in the public event, which I'm going to go over in a second, we now have access to the final triumph to get the Almighty Seal. I don't remember what it says. I will put a little screenshot of it up here. Uh, basically, what you need to do is throughout the event, make sure that when the plate shoots off all the little orbs that you need to collect, uh, that it always shoots off the six. And you're like, well, that's not too bad. Well, they changed the public event around and it's become much more difficult. So in the past, what you would do, hold down the plate. If enemies got on the plate, the tower would only shoot out two of these orbs. If you made sure there were no enemies on the plate, it would shoot out the six orbs, I believe it is. Uh, six or seven, I don't remember. I think it's six. Uh, so now uh, that's still the same. Once you completely secure a plate by throwing all the orbs at the big glowy lazy laser ball thing, uh, you would get 14% complete on the public event. All that still stays the same, but the difference is now uh, you only progress to 9%. So you're going to have to do that a few more times within that uh, within the timer of the public event. That's not too bad, right? Well, they also throw in some massive enemies in there, which are boss caliber style enemies. They're massive in size and in health. And uh, halfway through the event, instead of one tower becoming active of the three, two towers then become active. And if you're trying to get that triumph done, you need to hold down both of those towers. So coordination is going to be super important. Now, that's what we're going to be watching for a little bit in the background. Then I'll throw up some other random gameplay after this. But man, has it been much more difficult to get it completed. Uh, let me know how you guys have been doing. Have you gotten it done? Uh, go jump it in solo with some blueberries? Or did you need to bring a coordinated fire team? Very curious uh, about the turnout of uh, what you guys say about that stuff. So of course, Guardian Games is going on right now. If you're partaking in it and you are not a Titan, I don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to lose. No, I'm just kidding. Just messing around with you. Uh, but first day, Hunters came out on top. Second day, the Titans won. Uh, I don't know who won today because I made this video yesterday while you guys are watching it now. Um, but hopefully the Titans are still, still up there. Uh, I'll be rooting for them. I'm still trying to do my part. Uh, but Guardian Games... The games are going on, which brings me to my next point is new pinnacle gear to earn. So there is a new way to earn some pinnacle gear by turning in bounties to, or not bounties, by turning in medals. You can get a piece of pinnacle gear. I think it's 25 medals gets you a piece of pinnacle gear uh, from the podium up front. But now also the big change that they put in is with um, your weekly strike, crucible, gambit, and clan engrams that you can earn from strikes that's doing three strikes from gambit it uh from gambit it's three matches in gambit crucible it's four matches in crucible and then um what is it da, da, da. clan engram i forgot how much clan xp you have to get but all those will now award you pinnacle gear with a little catch it's not the plus two pinnacle gear this is just going to be a plus one piece of pinnacle gear so it's going to be a little bit easier to power up uh, your guardian, especially if you're still trying to hit that uh, 1025 mark to get into the Grandmaster, which I did make a video about in the past and didn't realize you had to be 1025 to even attempt this, uh, which I'm a little bit bummed about. I don't know if I'd actually get into it, but I don't even have the option. So, oh well. Any of you completed Grandmaster yet? Let me know if you have down below. So let's get into the TWAB. Let's get into the, some some really good discussion, I think, about future changes coming to the game, specifically trials related and cheaters related. So a uh, very little lead in on this TWAB about Guardian Games, really not much information there. Uh, besides the final week of Guardian Games, Guardian Games is running for three weeks, but the final week, all points that you earn for your class gets doubled. 
So just remember that. The final week, that's the week you really want to push because that's when you're going to earn the most points. After that, we hear from Justin Truman, who is a production uh, director. And basically what he goes into saying, and again, if you want to read this, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down below. What he goes in to say is they really are listening to everyone's complaints about trials, about cheaters, all about doing bounties, um, how the seasonal content is actually being run, all that stuff. Everything that everybody's complaining about, they are really listening to it and they are discussing from home because uh, nobody's in the office there, on how to make these changes. And over the next couple of weeks through the TWAB, we're going to get insight on how this is going to be done. This week specifically, we learn about trials and the cheaters in trials. Again, a very lengthy um, write up here, ton of stuff about cheaters. Um, but before we go into that, we're going to talk about trials as a uh, reward system so basically there again a lot here I'm gonna to touch on a few main points I'm gonna read this verbatim so here we go so three problems that they are talking about and how they plan on solving them and I like the solution to all of these so the first one token reward incentive uh, incentivizes players to farm to three wins and reset their card so what they're going to do in season 11, which is next season, planning on creating a token payout milestone at three, five, and seven wins that basically gives you a lot more tokens. So it's going to incentivize you to not just stop at three wins and just grind that out, but to continue to go up on your card from three to five to seven. Uh, because what that's doing is people that are just trying to get to three wins end up playing against teams that are flawless and just grinding through it. And some teams never even get that one or three wins. Me being one of them, haven't gotten to three yet. Hopefully this weekend could be my time. Uh, the next one, Trials is unrewarding for players stuck at one to two wins. Hey, what a great lead in. We just talked about myself. Uh, so what they're doing here is they are adding a weekly bounty uh, into Trials where all you have to do is go in, complete the bounty. That is going to unlock an engram or unlock a piece of gear that you would actually get at tier three that will then allow you to turn in your tokens that week um, just by completing that bounty so if you complete the bounty any of the tokens that you earn even if you don't get the three wins you still have a piece of gear unlocked from from that weekly bounty and then it's not a complete waste of your time because that's what's been going on for me in trials <laughs> not that it's a waste of time but it was unrewarding because i never got any of the rewards because i never hit three wins Last one here, Trials feels unrewarding compared to other endgame activities. So what they're going to be doing here is injecting more masterwork materials into Trials, uh, especially at 3, 5, and 7 win payouts. Um, that's going to all be coming in Season 11. In Season 12, they're looking at adding a new material-focused farming card. Uh, more on that later on. So those are some changes coming to, to Trials. I like all of them. I think that's a step in the right direction. Is that going to fix it completely? No. Uh, that's not the only problem because Cheaters is another big one. And again, huge write-up on Cheaters. Uh, if you're playing on PC, that is definitely where the majority of this is happening. So they do address all the types of cheating. I don't play on DC. Or DC. PC, I'm reading something as I, I try to talk to you. I don't play on PC, so I'm not really seeing all these i hear about it i i i'm on twitter i i listen so i know that they are there uh but they do talk about things like aimbots uh lag switching ddos all that good stuff and how they plan on trying to fix it not specifically because if they told you how they're going to fix it the hackers are just going to go in there and do something else uh they also address things that are going on uh, on console as well and a couple of things that I do want to point out in case you are cheating or talking about cheating or thinking about cheating uh, has to do with them banning players so there's been a lot of activity and a lot of things of people paying and uh, for for a service I'll say to have their account carried through flawless by basically paying for a service you get a, a hacker to jump onto your account or whatever run you through get you flawless um th that's that's gonna get you banned now if you're on a fire team and somebody else on your team is cheating they are going to ban all of you even if you're not cheating so if you're on a fire team and you know one of your teammates is cheating or you suspect that somebody is cheating uh 
well, since you're going in with a fire team pre-made, you know what's going on. Um, report them. That's what they're telling you to do. Uh, but definitely uh, expect to be banned if that person who is cheating gets caught. Uh, something else is they are putting a lot more people in their staff into this. So they're going to be putting a lot more focus into looking at all these things. Again, there's a lot more information here. Uh, one thing they also are talking about is possibly having a stipulation where you have to have played at least 100 hours on your account to get access to trials. Something that they're talking about possibly doing, but not necessarily doing. Why do that? Well, if you get banned and you just create a new account and jump in and cheat again, you're not going to have that opportunity because you don't have that 100 hours under your belt. One other thing they're talking about doing is putting trials behind a paywall. So basically making you have to pay for the seasonal content to get into trials. Again, not something that they want to do, it's just an idea because it will then limit the amount of people that get access to trials and it won't make it as inviting. If you get banned, you have to add another account, but then you'd have to pay to get into trials. I don't know. I don't cheat, so and I've already bought the season pass, so that's really not a big deal to me. I don't know, but I'm curious about what you guys think about that. Obviously, if you're not planning on paying for uh, trials, and you haven't had to now, probably not something you want to do. So, see how that goes. Sure, that could uh, that's gonna get that's gonna that's gonna get some hate if they do that for sure. Uh, besides that, guys, again, there was a ton of information there. Um, I didn't go over everything. Uh, the Guardian's Heart, which is the d -d -d -d, the COVID-19 charity that they are running, they are well over $600,000 so far, uh, which is amazing uh, and it's very, very cool. Uh, that's going well. The last thing is called, um, I didn't even know about this, is apparently Bungie promised a ghost in the, in the seasonal rewards, which we did not get. When you jump into season 11, if you bought season 10, you're going to get a free ghost. Last thing we're going to talk about, I know this video is moving on, going on, but like I said, there's a lot of good stuff to talk about this week, is uh, the next uh, batch of Twitch Prime rewards is here. So we're getting three exotics and a legendary. Don't get too excited, because it's all stuff from Eververse. We got the S'mores exotic emote, we got the Death to Kells exotic ship, we got the star map shell, and the whip crack legendary sparrow so that's gonna do it for this one guys next week we are supposed to be getting some information all about how the seasonal model and bounties will be changing in future uh in future seasons I'm gonna be curious about that not sure if we're actually gonna get that into season 11 just because it's already i'm sure well into development but we'll see uh and i'll be covering all of that hope you didn't enjoy the video uh, if you did, hit that like button. I know this one's a little bit long, so if you're still watching, you must have enjoyed it, so why not hit that subscribe button, because you'll probably enjoy the rest of my stuff, too. That's going to do it for this one. Hope you did enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.